What's up, Sanisa? Super Bad Estrada here, and I just want to give a huge special shout out to the relay. Thank you so much for all of the continuous support, and thank you for all of the support during and after and before every single fight. Welcome to the motherfucking relay. We're covering today's top boxing news. Ow! We pulled out of negotiations. Team Usyk did that. Myself and Igis Klimas. We took this decision when we realized and uh, got some proofs for that, that the fight is not happening. Could Tyson Fury not actually being in training for that fight, training alongside his head trainer, Sugar Hill Stewart, could that actually be proof? The proof that Alexander Krasiuk is referring to? Because Sugar Hill Stewart said it himself. We've talked about it several times already here on the channel. He wasn't training Fury for that fight, and he wasn't about to. Is that at least in part of what Alexander Krasiuk is referring to? Proof, proof that the fight wasn't going to go down, wasn't going to happen. So... The question is off. I want to take this opportunity and to appeal to the fans uh, and to urge stop hating Tyson Fury. No, and you can't make me. He is the normal hu human being like everyone. No, he's not. He's a fat bag of milk who likes to waste everybody's fucking time, yours included. Like, like all of us. No. He has his own right to decide what to do and what not to do. Yeah, and he didn't want to fight Usyk. He's well within his rights, but he didn't have to lie about it. He didn't have to waste your time, or mine, or the boxing communities. So... So fuck him. If he doesn't care about Undisputed, and he doesn't want to unify this division, and he doesn't want to fight Usyk, let him relinquish the WBC title, and he can go on about his business and fight whoever he wants to fight. But so long as he has that belt, he has the same expectations that any champion would have. Because that's what he is. He's a WBC champion. We're not expecting or demanding anything of Tyson Fury that we wouldn't expect or demand from anyone else, from any other WBC champion. Why is Alexander Krasiu going up to bat for this guy? Maybe all of this is wearing heavy on Tyson Fury. Just like that, he's back to where he was circa 2015-2016 and he's a social pariah again and most of the boxing community hates him. Rightfully so. He sucks. Now, Igus Klimas, he wasn't as diplomatic, wasn't as understanding as Alexander. Detailing what the immediate future holds for Alexander Yusik, the upcoming fight with Daniel Dubois, his medical clearances since he's coming off an injury. Checked by independent doctors, doctors mm -hmm. in UK which is could be a doctor of Queensborough, or, 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 <laughs> we don't know. But uh, anyway, so they say he's 100%. Uh, our biggest concern is if he's going to start training now and he's going to put some pressure uh, three weeks before the fight, two weeks before the fight, he's going to get uh, injured. It's a genuine concern. Having wasted weeks and months of their time in negotiations with Tyson Fury that did not result in a fight, now they have to worry about Daniel Dubois being match fit. They say he's cleared to fight. They say he's all right. But if that injury flares up again, much longer would it take to get Alexander Yusik back out there? They're looking at a summer return, you understand. That's what? Five, six months into this year? The original plan was to face Tyson Fury in the first quarter of it. Now look at where they are. And he's not recovered for for hundred percent. He's gonna get injured and then we're gonna have we're gonna be out of the date again. Yeah. So this is the biggest concern. That's why we're trying to get the real good doctors, real good tests to make sure he's a hundred percent ill and uh, ready to go. I guess would that fight most likely happen in the UK? A bunch of other places, the Middle East, uh, interesting kid can be put in the Middle East. If the people in the Middle East want it, and they might. I mean, they're interested in bringing big-time boxing over to that region of the world, and that still is. Still a title fight. Three of the four major titles in the heavyweight division are on the line. Would help if the Saudis subsidized this fight, decided to pick it up. Would Frank be on board? Would he let them? Or not, it's a UK, because right now, right now in UK is king is Alexander Husser, not a Queen Gypsy. <laughs> Queen Gypsy. Uh, final question on this. Um, do queen you drama. Have, queen do drama. You, oh, yeah, king drama, maybe. Yeah, that's all. No, it's a queen. Queen, queen drama. Oh. That's what Tyson Fury acts like. He doesn't act like a king. He acts like a pretty little princess. A little prat. A spoiled brat. 
throwing his toys out of the pram. You couldn't find easier people to work with. Easier people than Team Usyk and still. Look at what he does. Do you ever revisit the Fury fight later this year after you beat Dubois? Or do you have to go to Hergovic? Like, how does that work? No, I think the Middle East is wide open uh, uh, by the end of the year for uh, for the undisputed. You know? But of course, right now, we will have to concentrate as much as we can on Dubois. Okay, so Hergovic doesn't have to come next. If if we will find out and the doctors will find out what the Dubois is not really 100% mm -hmm. coming into the fight, then probably we'd be able to switch to the mandatory 5BF. Tyson Fury uh, has a chance, but he has to prove it, not on his words, but on his uh, actions. Not according to some. According to some, Tyson Fury's gift of gab alone is reason enough to let him waste everyone's time and do whatever he wants. Even holding up undisputed. I don't know what the fixation is. What, because he beat Vladimir Klitschko years ago? That was years ago. Because he beat Klitschko? Because he beat Wilder? Well, what's that have to do with Usyk? But he has a chance, same like Usyk, he has a chance to become the, the, the historical personality. I get one guy that regularly stops on this channel and comments under videos about this subject, this subject specifically, and how he's okay with what Tyson Fury's doing. That even if this is Tyson Fury delaying the undisputed title fight, he's okay with that. Seems more a fan of Fury than a fan of boxing. Uh, with all the respect, you can't become the best fighter uh, only by talking. Tyson Fury's fans don't have the energy for Fury versus Usyk that they had late last year for Fury versus Joshua. They were lambasting Joshua and attacking him, a man coming off of two consecutive losses. They were okay with Fury pursuing that fight, and they're perfectly okay, it seems, with him skipping out on this one. What? So wait a minute. You're more hungry to see Fury fight Joshua coming off of two losses than you are to see Fury fight the man that beat him? What kind of pussified, sissified boxing fans it is? Cowards. That are perfectly okay with Tyson Fury's cowardly behavior cowering away from the undisputed title fight because he might lose spent a lot of time trying to sabotage this fight while pulling a veil over the boxing community's eyes to convince them that when it does fall apart it's not his fault and it didn't work most people feel it's tyson fury's fault save a few inbred idiots who are still arguing in tyson fury's defense your arguments are falling on deaf ears this guy ain't bigger than boxing he ain't big enough that he can stop undisputed and not have hell to pay for it now Usyk's not fighting for all the belts like we wanted him to and he's got to satisfy his mandatory challenger daniel dubois there are talks to do the fight in either london or manchester provided that they get the medical clearances that they want, the assurances, I should say. That this guy won't injure himself again in camp and end up postponing the fight. The closest opportunity for Usyk is the WBA mandatory, so it's Daniel Dubois. Krasiuk said to Sky Sports, Yesterday, I had a meeting with George Warren to discuss what we're going to do and what we're able to do. We're now working out opportunities, and London or Manchester are one of the options we're working on. Maybe if we can find a solution, we can make it in the UK. For his end, Fury is possibly going to face Olympic silver medal winner Joe Joyce, who next month will defend the WBO interim title against Zile Zhang. Coincidentally, Joyce is also the WBO's mandatory challenger for Usyk. Yeah, there was some mention a little over a week ago about Fury fighting Joe Joyce instead, but they're also pushing the idea of a Joshua fight. A fight with Anthony, Anthony Joshua, if he beats Jermaine Franklin. It is a bigger fight commercially than a Joe Joyce fight for Tyson Fury, but it's not an easier fight to make. It requires them to work with Matchroom, to work with DAZN. Another long, drug-out set of negotiations. How long would it take to get that fight over the line? The Joe Joyce fight is an easier in-house fight to make. You face another contradiction in the champion himself. The team considers him RTG, Random Thought Generator, Krasiuk said. It means he comes up with retirement, then he comes up with 20 fights a year, then he comes up with fighting for no money, donating everything, and then he comes back. It looks a bit awkward and a bit random. Damn stupid is what it is. We were supposed to be getting an undisputed title fight, and... 
If Alexander Krasiuk, even for a moment, he told the boxing fans to stop hating Tyson Fury. If even for a moment, Alexander Krasiuk wanted to spare Tyson Fury some of the backlash and insults he's getting, that's a hell of a lot more than he's gonna get from me, because I'm sick of the guy. Sick of seeing him wasting everybody's time. Sick of seeing the cult of morons who glorify whatever this walking, talking colostomy bag does. Should have been getting on Disputed Title Fight. I think that there was a lot of, I, I don't want to say misunderstandings, because I think everybody was on the same page, but it was a lot of demands, a lot of things that, you know, just, just couldn't happen. I think the offer was more than generous. I think that the money that was on the table was a premium price. And, you know, you've heard the numbers that are out there. Uh, but for, for some reason or, or another, you know, the, the fight didn't get made. The, the, these guys are prize fighters, and they fight for money. The money that was on the table, it was unbelievable to me that the fight couldn't get made and again i came in late you know i came in the 11th hour where there are already talks discussions you know percentages uh promises but regardless of that in my estimation and this is you know with all due respect i believe that the purse for one of the guys was more than the fight in itself could generate with both of the guys well, what did the fighters stand to make in Saudi Arabia had the fight gone through and it took place there? Bob Arum has stated, Usyk was set to make in the region of 20 million for the Tyson Fury fight if it happened on April 29th at Wembley Stadium, whereas the deal he'd previously agreed to make with the Saudis would have seen him make three times as much, 60 million. You bumbling idiots costed this guy 60 million dollars? And remember that Frank Warren said himself back when the fight was scheduled to go down in Saudi, that it was a 50-50 split for both combatants. That means that Tyson Fury would have got 60 million and Oleksandr Yusik. You heard Amir Abdallah. You heard him say something about demands. Somebody was making them. I hardly think it was Team Usyk. We know that the Oleksandr Yusik people agreed to their end of the deal, so I hardly think they were the ones making the demands. Sounds to me like it was Team Fury. Naturally. The story that we were given was that they moved the fight from Saudi over to the UK because the people in Saudi weren't able to get the stadium, the location, whatever it was. They weren't going to be able to get it up on time. But for moving it to the UK and things having worked out the way they worked out, you might as well have left it in Saudi. You might as well have given them whatever additional time they needed to construct the stadium, you know, based on the cover story. Because that's what the cover story was. That's what they told the world. That's what they told the media. The reason they moved the fight from Saudi over to the UK was because they would not be able to construct the stadium, the location, whatever it was, on time. Well, for that, you may as well have given them additional time to construct it since moving it to the UK caused the fight to collapse. You lowballed the guy once you got there. You started playing around with the rematch clause. For that entire clusterfuck, you may as well have given the Saudis more time to construct the stadium, the time they needed based on what you told us. I'm just taking that story at face value. Look, we've already been all through this, and it's for this reason that Tyson Fury deserves every harsh comment every criticism, and every insult for causing this fight to collapse. He deserves it. You've got his father, big blowhard John Fury, getting upset at Sugar Hill Stewart for not lying on his son's behalf, saying that he wasn't training him. You expect him to lie? Apparently. John Fury has said Tyson Fury should sack Sugar Hill Stewart for comments after the Alexander Yusa collapse. What the hell was that about? I'm only here for Okoli. I've seen him training Tyson. He denied him like Judas denied Jesus. That's a sacking offense. Does this guy ever shut the hell up? You're just running spin for your son the way we all expect you to. We'll expect Is you to. Harsh you expect public you to. criticism causing Tyson Fury to come apart at the seams. Is he cracking mentally the way he claims to have cracked mentally in circa 2015, 2016? Is that why? Is that why John Fury's run and spin? Is that why Alex Krasiuk is pulling his punches? I'll tell you the truth, I can care less what they're doing because what I'm not about to do is cut this guy some slack. I've had enough of Tyson Fury and his shenanigans. Had quite enough. That is a resurgence of talks for a Fury versus Joshua fight in the mean in between time. Top ranked president Todd Dubov says Fury versus Joshua Joshua is the biggest heavyweight match in the world, and you guys know how I feel about it. I don't think Team Joshua should give Tyson Fury the satisfaction. Frank Warren says they want to make a Joyce fight for him instead. Let him. Todd Dubow, who co-promotes Tyson Fury, would love to see the Gypsy King make a defense of the WBC title against Joshua. I've always said 
That is the fight, you both told Sky Sports. Both of them have great brands, huge fan bases, and fortunately, both of them come from the UK. So it's wonderful that your country has been able to produce these incredible prize fighters. That fight has always been there, and to me, it is the biggest heavyweight match in the world because of the personalities and the stories. Maybe it is, but Tyson Fury shouldn't be able to get off so easily. The frustration is for all of us, said Dubov. All of us are frustrated, right? And I think the timing has been an issue with trying to make this fight happen. I'm not going to say never, but I think we all want to see this unification, and we all have hope. But there is a timeline that was set up, and it just got ahead of everybody, and it became very tight. Fortunately, there's always hope and an opportunity because I think both fighters really know that this is what the sport wants and what they want. So motivation is there. Timing was more of an issue on this, and you know, Todd do both. He's optimistic. He likes the Joshua versus Fury fight, but he also feels that Fury versus Usyk can be revived. It can be revisited. Bob Arum. He's singing a familiar tune. He's saying that the Saudi Arabian investors only wanted to stage Fury versus Usyk in the winter, and he hopes to revisit the fight later on this year. Bear in mind that that's not what they said in the beginning. What they said in the beginning was they moved the fight from Saudi over to the UK because they couldn't construct the stadium on time. So if they would have given them that additional time that they initially said that they needed, wouldn't they have been able to do the fight, at least in theory, in either June or July? And not all the way out there in November or December. Not that any of it matters anyway, because none of this absolves Tyson Fury of culpability. The Saudis clearly told us that they'd like to fight, but only in the winter, November or December. They didn't mislead anybody. But perhaps you did. You and your charge, Tyson Fury. This ain't what they were saying a couple of weeks ago. This is not what they were saying at first when the fight first got moved. So here's what I think. I don't think Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua should give Tyson Fury satisfaction if Frank Warren means to put Tyson Fury in the ring with Joe Joyce over the summer months, provided that Joe beats Zile Zhang. Let him. Let him do it. So you can allow Anthony Joshua to have more time with his new trainer, Derek James. Let him rack up one or two more victories, provided he wins tomorrow opposite the ring, Jermaine Franklin. And I think that he's going to. I think he's going to stop that guy. Perhaps inside six rounds. We'll see. But let Anthony Joshua have more time with Derek James and let Frank Warren... Warren figure out what he's going to do with Tyson Fury in the mean in-between time, whether it's a Joe Joyce fight or something else. Let him do it. And if they actually do it, if they make a fight between Fury and Joe, Fury wins the fight, let them revisit those talks for an Usyk fight in the fall. Let them bear the burden. You go into another set of talks with these people, and it's going to consume a lot of your time and a lot of Anthony's time, time that he could be fighting. Let them do whatever they're going to do. Joe Joyce fight, and perhaps they'll revisit talks for Usyk afterwards, and if Fury fights him, and he beats him, then you revisit those talks for a Tyson Fury fight, if he ends up being this division's undisputed champion. Don't take the heat off this guy, don't help him. If he beats Usyk, then you revisit talks for a Fury fight. If he doesn't, and Usyk ends up beating Fury, well, he'll likely retire afterwards. And that's assuming a rematch doesn't happen. That's assuming that a second fight does not ensue. Let those guys do whatever they're going to do while you work in the background. Take your time. You're younger than the both of those guys. What I think, I don't think Eddie Hearn should be in any rush to do Frank Warren or Tyson Fury any favors. Anthony needs to be more active. Focus on that. Stop throwing these guys a bone.